Hello again. Um, this video is going to be a bit of an extension on um, converting decimal to binary and binary to decimal, um, but it's going to put it into the context of an IP address and an IP version 4 address, um, which is the one we're going to use mostly in Cisco. Um, IP6 addressing, we'll do a different video for. So, generally when we apply an address to a PC, down the bottom here we'll put this IP address on, so 192.168.10.1 It's a fairly unique address in the world um, Not the 10.1 bit, but certainly the 192 And this is its normal subnet mask And when I say normal, it's class full But we haven't touched that yet, so don't worry about that too much But if you type that into a Windows box And you click on the subnet mask This one will automatically come up So we need to know what's actually going on with this and that's what the uh, intention of the video is, is to get a bit of an understanding for that. So I hope you got comfortable with s um, converting binary to decimal, because we're going to do it now. So I'm not going to dwell on it, but we're going to put this 192 as the first octet into this 8-bit number up here, that blue number. And then the second octet, 168, is in there we're going to put it into this value and then the 10 is going to go into this octet and the 1 into the 4th octet we end up with an 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 bit address space which is 32 bits long so an IP version 4 address is 32 bits long handy to know, you do actually get questions on that Okay, so 192.168.10.1 is the address we want to put that into this system um, in binary. So let's work our way through that. So hopefully you can see it. Um, it might be smaller on your screen. We'll see how it goes. So 192, if you remember from the previous video, um, is that value there. So 128 plus 64 equals 192. That is the first octet. We then go into the next one, which is going to be this value, 168. So this dot decimal notation that we're using, so dot decimal notation, is a way for us to read this address easier, rather than spruiking out and saying 1100001, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, whoops, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, which is the value for 168 and all the rest. So this is easier for us to remember. Computers still use the binary version of it. So 168, sorry, 168, 168, 128 plus 32 equals 160 plus 8, and we're good with that. 10 is the third octet, so that's going to be an 8 plus a 2 and everything else in there is going to be zeros and budgies going off in the background if you can hear them and the last one is a 1 so 1 in there now that is what a computer will read, it will read 32 bits long that value as the IP address so the IP address in IP version 4. So that's good. We can apply that to our node. So our PC, our printer, our router. Um, switches can have it. Um, servers, whatever it is. It has to have a unique address on your network. The next address defines actually our network number but we're using a subnet mask so this value, the IP address plus this value, the subnet mask gives us our network number and we'll come into that in a minute but let's just write this value down in binary so 255.255.255.0 is what we've got if you remember from the previous video we had the address if you put all ones in there that is 255 
So 255 there, and a 255 here, and a 255 there. Woo! Where do we get a 168 from? Cancelled, you horrible thing. Really? Oh, it's picking up this address, and I'm not happy with that. Let's do that. Gotta love Excel. Well, actually, this is not even Excel. It's um, uh, LibreOffice. Okay, so so far we've got 255 plus 255 plus 255. And then we've got zero at the end in the fourth octet. So this is going to be all zeros. Why am I hitting ones? Lucky I know computers. So in this last portion here, subnet mask, subnet mask. So that's our subnet mask. So when you apply these two values to a network card, what we've done is said this is our IP address and this one will determine which network we belong to. But that's the values in binary. Now the network that we belong to gets a bit interesting. We use this AND function, or when I say we, the routers are using the AND function. And what it's saying is there's two different inputs. There's the mask and there's an IP address. So there's my IP address and there's the mask. So if I put a value 1 in my IP address that will come up there and there and the 0 in my subnet mask will be there so it's going to be this combination then the output will be 0 if we add these two values into this AND function. So this AND function is a bit good for us actually. So what it is, it actually defines which is our network number. So when we combine these two values down the bottom here, what we're doing is actually determining what is the network number of our network and that value there the colour should make a nice bright orange that is our network number So it's a combination of this value plus that value and it will give us this value. So let's work it out slowly from here. And we'll actually play around in this area up here. <coughs> Pretty much what it says is when our mask is a 1, actually let's go back a step, when our mask is a 0, our network number will always be a zero. So here's our subnet mask, so these are all zeros. So when we're comparing this zero and that zero, so this in there, so that, that, our put will be a zero. That zero is that zero, same again, zero. So that's same again for that. Mask is a zero, IP is zero, the output's going to be a zero. When our mask is a zero <coughs> and our IP addresses are 1, the output is still 0. This is the rule of an AND function. What the AND function says is when input 1 and input 2 are 1, then our output will be 1. Otherwise, every other input, or a every other output, sorry, will be a 0. So, if we can remember that basic thing, if the mask is 0, the output will be 0, and if the mask is a 1, then if we have a little close look at this, the IP address and the output are actually the same values. So when the mask is a 1, the output, 
the IP is a zero, the value out, which will become our network number, is going to be a zero. And when the values are one, the output will be a one. So they just take take it straight across. So the network number is important for us, and I'll explain a little bit later. But just let's get that AND function in our head. Hard as it may seem. So when our mask is a one. Scroll across, when our mask is a 1, the IP address or the input will equal the output. So, when the mask is a 1, the output is going to be 1 there, 1 there, 0 there, 0 there, 0 there, 0 there. We can actually copy straight down those values there and those values there. Now, when the mask is a zero, the output will always be. So, the mask is a zero, the output will always be a zero. So, we'll just copy our mask down there. And that value there in binary is our network number. Okay, so what we've done there is used the anding function, which routers use. Your PC uses it. Um, every device that is connected to a network uses this function, the AND function, to actually determine what its network number is. And based on that, it'll send traffic to different places. So it's important. Now the thing we need to learn is, out of this video, that's our IP address in binary. That's our subnet mask in binary. And that is our network number in binary. And also, this AND function tells us what our network number is going to be. And that's about it for the video. So thank you for listening.